Okay, now let's calculate the electric field. We calculated the electric potential and now I am going to calculate the electric field. As you can see here, this is the electric field calculated by the exact solution. And this is the electric field calculated by the finite element method. And we have discontinuous function, a discontinuous function here, right? So in the software, we calculated the electric potential as a functional distance. Let me run the simulation again. To be able to plot the electric field, let me. Okay, okay. Let's calculate the value of E using the field calculator. This is the electric potential calculated by the finite element method in ANSYS Maxwell software. And from fields, calculator, quantity, E, I select the EX, a scalar EX. I export this value, EX. Okay, done. And then I plot EX as a functional distance. So you can see the value of E, right? So you can see the corresponding value here, around 60 to minus 30, 60 to minus 30, right? The value of E, X, X component of the electric field. So you can see how the and this Maxwell software precise is. We calculated the same answer that we have here. But using the first order elements, we have something like this. So you can see the procedure for calculation of the electric field here. E is minus gradient of the V. And if you consider this equation for B, you can calculate E something like this. V1E minus V2E LE. Right. The difference between the voltage of two nodes divided by mesh lengths. So the value of E is constant because we have linear elements and derivative of voltage for a linear element is a constant number right so suppose i want to calculate the value of e myself inside the code i can write something like this. I can write another function. Calculate first derivative or gradient. Right here in this problem, I write calculate E for one dimensional and degree one problem for each mesh node. So save. As you know, for each mesh node, first I should find, like before, the value of zeta. Here I should use another definition. This is definition of the EX. Le is x2e minus x1e. So here 
is v2 we can see v2 minus v1 divided by this expression x2 minus x1 e as you can see here we have warning because we don't use the value of n1 you can delete this part of the code because it is useless so now let's set the value of n n equal to 5 and run the code then let's plot the value of x and the value of e calculated for each x plot you can see the value here let me plot again so why we have negative value here let's go and check definition again how oh, right right here is negative of gradient so this is v1 minus v2 e so i write here one two now i can plot the answer so you can see the value of electric field that is calculated by finite element method first order elements right first order elements and if i increase number of elements for example 250 and run this comment again you can see the value of e that is close to this function so why we have a, a straight and a perfect line here because this is calculated by second order element quadratic element that i will explain here we used linear element right and we should increase number of nodes to be able to find a good solution for our problem so yes is it clear calculation of the e electric field yes right 